Now, your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. All right, getting into St. Patrick's Day weekend here with an improving forecast for us as we get especially into our Saturday, clearing out into that sunshine for you as we go into the weekend. It's going to be a nice feel for us at least tomorrow afternoon. A second cold front starts to work in for us, though, uh, as we get into Saturday night, and that's going to help the temperatures drop a bit into Sunday. Still seasonable right about where we're supposed to be on Sunday, but the temperatures keep dropping as we get into the start of next week, and we're going to be seeing the slight chance for maybe a few flurries as we get into our Monday. Plenty to talk about about here in this forecast. Let's dive into the details of what was a cloudy and soggy day for most. We had lingering cloud and showers in areas where temperatures were still in the low 60s and upper 50s even in Mount Sterling. High temp 59. Further south you went, the closer to 70 you got. We had a little bit of clearing take place. The cloud cover and the rain did not persist as long, but that cold front made an impact too. It also played a factor in who was at 70 plus and who stayed down near 60. We're going to continue to see that trend as we head into tonight. You can almost see it. 43 in Frankfurt to 61 in Harlan. That cold front is still trying to work its magic across the central and eastern parts of the state to knock those temperatures down. Some of us drop into the upper 30s overnight tonight with some patchy fog developing for us as we go into tomorrow afternoon, though. The cold front not doing a lot to us. We're actually going to see high pressure help us get back into the mid 60s, flipping those winds around and bringing us some sunshine. Then the cold front moves in a new one, of course, into Sunday 55, the forecast high. We're going to see those winds go from the west southwest 5 to 15 miles an hour, a little breezy at times, gusting 25. Then they flip around to the west northwest for us on Sunday, and that's going to be the difference maker in our air temperatures, bringing in that cooler air as we get into the end of the weekend. We've got some thinning of the clouds continuing to move on. As they clear, we expect some of the moisture we've got left over to actually help us develop a little bit of patchy fog. You can see nothing else really going on. High pressure drops to the south overnight, and that's going to open us up to eventually getting back into those southerly winds. Here's that next cold front, though. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy tomorrow afternoon. Futurecast wants a stray shower along that front. Can't rule it out, but for the most part, it's going to be dry tomorrow. And then we go into Sunday morning with some patchy cloud cover, clearing again with some sunshine into Sunday afternoon. But again, that cold front doesn't enough to knock those temperatures down just a little bit. What the next big thing is, is going to be the cold air that comes in behind that cold front. We're talking about lows dropping down near and below freezing into Sunday morning, or excuse me, into Monday morning, and high temperatures barely making it above 40 before we slowly recover as we go into next week. And of course, the chance for some flakes is in the mix as that colder air comes in on Monday. Just that slim chance for some flurries to develop, something we'll be watching closely over the weekend for you and have more updates Saturday night and Sunday night as well. So take a look at this, though. A hard freeze Monday night into Tuesday. Then the warm-up begins back to the 50s and 60s with a few shower chances late next week.